Hello everyone, it's George and welcome back to Call of Dragons. As a dedicated free-to-play player who played this game for more than one year, I'm excited to share some insider tips and tricks with you. Stick around and let's dive in. Today I'm going to showcase my free-to-play account which is uh, logged in consecutively 411 days. It will be interesting for me to showcase to you every single aspect of the game uh, so far how much i gained what's my progression level in terms of buildings research heroes artifacts and so on i'm doing this because i want you guys to understand how long it will take you to be on on my stage um, as a hundred percent free to play player as you can see i don't even have lily i have spent a zero dollar in this game and playing it uh, organically and uh, trying to have fun uh, without spending anything in the game at first let's start uh, in terms of buildings uh, my town hall is 24 level uh, my hospitals every single hospital is 24 level simply uh, because hospitals are one of the most important buildings in terms of fighting because this game is amazing for combat gameplay and if you want to fight more and if you want to if you want to generate some more merits in the game you need to have your troops available that's why having hospitals on a high level is important well i don't have hospitals 25 level because as we already know in order for us to upgrade building from 24 to 25 we need to spend the 2000 gems for master's blueprints and in my opinion so far i don't have to upgrade those buildings uh, to 25 because i think i have to spend gems on a uh, and other things which are more important such as like getting heroes getting artifacts getting uh, some treaties because you have like not having a rally drum rally building 25 or 24 level is a big big no that's why i chose to stay on 24 uh, to use gems on other things uh, simply because so far i'm pretty satisfied in terms of buildings having 24 level of course alliance center is 24 level that's the best building in terms of reduction the time of the any construction or any research in the game it it saves you a lot of time actually like and that's why i always say don't forget about the line center like long term it it has a big big value of course every single army building which uh, we have currently in the game they are 24 level uh, simply because well higher level the army uh, building is you will be able to recruit more troops so for 24 level 1400 uh, troops can be recruited by single time that's why of course same as hospital if you want to have fun in this game you need to have troops you need, you need to have troops available that's why they they are 24 level and whenever i will jump to 25 of course i'm going to upgrade them one by one uh, in terms of resource buildings i don't have uh, them 24 levels every single one of them simply because sometimes we have a building events in this game and uh, as a free-to-play player i'm trying to get every single free item and every single event to complete because well in order to complete the building events you need to build and if you if i will have every single building on 24 25 then it means that i'm wasting the uh, event rewards which is really important especially for 25 especially for the free-to-play player uh, i guess that's uh, it, that's all about buildings uh, main topic about buildings for my account is that uh, like i have my buildings on 25 or 24 level stopped maybe in the future i'm going to upgrade them to 25 in terms of research uh, i'm almost done uh, doing the economy tree uh, and of course like upgrading uh, military tech is pretty time consuming that's why i'm slowly slowly trying to upgrade them one by one as always so we have two uh, queues um, one queue i always spend on economy tree and the second one of course military as and i have mentioned as a free-to-play player you have to choose your legion type you have to choose your uh, favorite legion type for me it's been marksman since day one that's why uh, my upgrades are mainly for marksmen 
then of course in the future whenever i will be already tier 5 player i will be upgrading some infantry and some cavalry but so far my main focus is about marksmen and secondary legion is of course mages that's why like generally i fight as a range uh, player uh, that's the best uh, way for free to play player to have fun in this game actually by playing the range legion uh, in terms of like um, economy tree well i have to stop at uh, logging uh, techniques and gold mining to level 8 because i need to have uh, the research building to 25 of course it will take a lot of time for me to upgrade research building it will need some gems it will need some rally uh, drum to be higher level so it will be really really time consuming and also we don't, don't need to forget that now research building is giving us speed bonus by itself so like upgrading this building will help you to upgrade your researches much much faster than before other than that in my opinion main points for uh, research in general for the military tech there is a couple of important step um, one big step was whenever i upgraded my assault strategies one that was like one of the uh, biggest time consuming uh, research that i have done in this game so far and i'm pretty sure soon like for example if i want to upgrade the first i to level 9 uh, i need to wait 72 days so like it, it's too much days that's why like so far i'm going to upgrade the marksman protection to level 9 and of course then magic protection and arcana knowledge simply because i want to have uh, my legions as strong as uh, currently possible i'm not going to rush to tier fives because it won't gonna give me enough fun for the game uh, rather than just being as strong as possible for the current moment so i will be able to help my alliance members for the wars for the roots of war or any gameplay activity which we have in call of dragons that's all about like research where i am currently uh, like most important topic about research is that i'm almost done doing the economy tech and after that my main focus will be of course for the military one uh, in terms of uh, vip uh, my vip level is level 12 uh, well it's not that easy for free to play player to gain uh, vip levels uh, simply because i almost spent zero gems uh, actually like maybe at first when now i wanted to have a uh, second research queue that's the only time i spent gems on level eight uh, because uh, having second research queue is really really crucial for this game after that i have never spent gems on the vip uh, points so all the vip points i have got in this game uh, after level 8 was from my alliance members who were building some who were buying some bundles and of course it's so well known that whenever your alliance member is buying buying bundles you are getting some gifts uh, and sometimes you might get some vip points such as this right like i got from the wood alliance chest 10 vip points and that's how i generally increased my um, level with the vip shop of course um, after that i will be more than happy to increase the level but i'm not going to spend any gems um, in this game for the vip uh, level so in terms of daily gifts i think having universal artifact key is really really crucial uh, one per day especially for free to play player because i think um, artifacts are the hardest item to get in this game and of course um, having one legendary hero like so far i have nico simply because finally i was able to awaken my main hero which is ginara and I want to have my Nico and Kinara both awakened. Maybe I'm thinking that when the new Archer heroes will come out from this after the season sob, um, let's see if I will get at least one of them, and maybe I will be picking the newest legendary hero for the VIP uh, daily gifts right uh, that's all about vip shop which is like one of the most crucial aspects of the game uh, having this free stuff especially if you are for the play player is really really important uh, in terms of heroes well uh, i got some luck um, sometimes i don't but 
Now, generally, whenever I'm spending gems, I'm spending gems on heroes, which are my main legion type. It's already well known that my main legion type is marksman. That's why I have not spent gems for, for example, Bertrand. Uh, like, generally, like any hero which I have here, um, I got for free. Uh, and only time I spend gems is whenever I, the hero was marksman and I really, really want to have every single marksman in the game. So far, this is my heroes. Of course, my main uh, legion is Nico and Tinara, Sindran and Fregar, Walder and Nuelin, and the Craig and Thea. That's the legions I'm always fighting with. I'm really, really enjoying the fights. And, like whenever I'm uh, having only ranged units, because yeah, like that's the only way for me to have impact on the battlefield whenever I'm fighting against stronger players. And of course, um, whenever Margaret and Zaida will come out, I will try my best to get them. Uh, if I will get both of them, it will be super, super amazing, but I'm not sure. Uh, I need to be super lucky uh, in order to get two new legendary heroes together. But even if I will get at least one of them, I will be already happy, honestly. Uh, my main focus in terms of heroes right now is to have um, Kinara and Nico both awakened. Uh, I like uh, the every single legendary token I have gathered in this game I have spent on Kinara and like maybe 20 or 25 uh, tokens I have spent on Sandrion to make it 5-1-1-1. Uh, that's why like uh, I understand every single free-to-play player it's really rough to awaken legendary hero especially but well Call of Dragons is a grind game it's time consuming uh, you need to plan ahead uh, so that's why whenever I started playing I chose Kinara and I said I won't gonna stop until I'm I'm awaking her uh, the main skill and the main skill is great uh, defense break in general I think defense break is really underrated in this game uh, especially after the popularity of the uh, infantry heroes and infantry playstyle in the game uh, that's all about um, heroes and my plans and how i got here like sometimes whenever i look at my heroes i think that i have spent some money in this game but yeah as a free-to-play player i was able to get Goresh, i was able to get foreign deal uh skull ghoul um what else right kinara Sindrion, fragar like generally it's not that easy to get those heroes as a free-to-play player i guess i was pretty lucky in terms of heroes as i have mentioned artifacts have been the hardest thing to get for free-to-play players that's my artifacts so far like uh, the Rattle Spear and the Kingslayer I just got like a couple of days ago from the uh, Compendium and uh, having Rattle Spear as a free-to-play player feels amazing. Uh, before I had horrible luck in terms of artifacts uh, simply because I have gotten Kurata's Rust like at least three times. Uh, like I have gotten Sorland's Blade twice, uh, like uh, Tear of Arbon three times, and my main artifacts which I have been using, such as Shadow Blades, which is level one, which means I have gotten Shadow Blades only once. Now uh, Phoenix Eye is level two, uh, Burst Strike. Well, I prefer to have it on higher levels, but uh, in terms of luck, for me, for artifacts, it doesn't really look good. But after I got my Rattle Spear, uh, I'm not even saying that I'm not unlucky or I'm lucky in terms of artifacts. This was like one of my favorite artifacts, um, as I have mentioned, Kinara is my favorite legendary hero, and Rattle Spear is especially amazing with uh, her. Uh, other than that, like these artifacts, they are mainly gettable from the normal keys, from universal keys. Uh, only artifact which is not gettable from there is, I think, Rattle Spear, if I'm not mistaken. Other than that, I think every single artifact which I have, I got from here. Uh, Spring of Silence, Dragon Rift, like, yeah, like every single artifact which I have currently in the game is only gettable for... Uh, from the normal key, for normal keys and the special one is of course rattle spear that's all about artifacts i hope i will have better luck um, in terms of uh, getting the right artifacts for my army which would be the priority the marksman ones right i still need to have um, gold crest for my syndrome and fragar but i think so far as a free-to-play replacement, Heart of Kamasi is great one to have. I know the stats are defensive stats, but I like the physical Keenan Onslaught, which is giving the buffs to uh, 
two friendly nearby legions so and whenever you are playing a marksman in general uh, like and you have a couple of marksman legions on the battlefield uh buffing your marksmen feels great that's why i like heart of gamasi in general like one of the best supportive type of artifact in the game uh so far like that's my power my maximum power is 60 36 million uh, almost 37 million power um like i have been playing this game for like a long long time 411 days uh, more than a year uh, that's my unit skill i think this season have been the best season in terms of merits for me because like i actually fight uh, against uh, like same uh, power level players as me before it was all about fighting against tier 5 players and whenever you are a tier 4 player fighting against tier 5s it really struggles sometimes it gives you zero motivation to fight against them but i don't know like i have been playing this game for more than 400 days and i still have passion and i still enjoy uh, playing this game uh, that's like uh, constructions research uh, heroes um, uh, artifacts uh, that's like one of the main um, features of the game and we should not and we will never forget one of my favorite features which is warped section right uh, so far that's my collection my main warpets are nitrock uh, for my syndrome and Fuegar, uh, snow peak rock for nico and kinara and for Craig and Thea, I'm building both of them. Uh, I think I will check, like, change the owner of these pets. Um, I still have Shadow Fedrick simply because I got the one star main skill, and of course, I'm going to save it. Uh, but I think, like, Nitrock, Snow Peak Rock, um, both of them actually, Sapphire Fedrick have been one of my first uh, built uh, war pets which I did in this game, and it, it looks great. Like, I have never seen from my own collection having so many slots on legendary hero is good stats right of course spirit wishes to be a lot more but i don't want to ruin so many slots which i have on my sapphire fedric uh, venomous lizard for garu and eliana uh, hero pair uh, well it's a counter strike synergy with the infection that's then death the uh, force warped which i think i'm going to finish quite soon of course i would like to have more slots but i'm not going to regenerate this warped because in my opinion sometimes you can have less attributes or sometimes you can have great attributes and less skill slots it depends on your choice other warpets which i have um, like i'm trying to save to build uh, the better ones uh next one will be sand lizard for the new legendary heroes the archer ones i think sand lizard will be working pretty good with them because sand lizard is all about healing and magrot and zaida will be all about healing it's pretty obvious right uh, that's why i'm kind of preparing my sand lizard for the new heroes and let's see uh, what kind of uh, synergies we are going to see whenever they will come out of course i'm expecting more warpits uh, coming out from the developers of the game uh we, we should not stop on brewing bear i think that was the like brewing bear and shadow Frederick was the last uh, warpits we have seen and i'm expecting more and more in the future uh in general the idea about this video is to showcase um, where you can go after playing for 100 days uh, as a to play player in this game and honestly i th i will say with like great gratitude that i have been having a lot of fun playing call of dragons for more than one year i'm con going to continue playing this game because like i have been gamer since the childhood and like uh, before i tried rise of kingdoms it was not my type uh, i know call of dragons has a lot of similarities but i like the art style i like the combat gameplay i like the uh, like innovative stuff such as warpets so which have been oh, like one of my favorite features in the game uh, share your experience about your account tell me what do you think about mine maybe you have better advices which i can change my account's trajectory or just as always if you like the video press like subscribe share it always gives me motivation to make content for this game i hope everybody will have amazing day morning or night wherever you are we are going to see each other very very soon bye bye and good luck